So we're very fortunate today then that we have Sebastian Janowski. I hope I pronounced that right, Sebastian. Did I? Um, it's Janowski, but that's okay. A, bu- a bunch of people get it wrong. So it's Janowski? Yeah. Okay, Sebastian Janowski, who is a young singer, songwriter, musician, actor. This guy is multi-talented and definitely creating some waves in the music industry and in the film industry. So we're going to get a chance to talk and ask uh, all kinds of questions because this guy is like super, super busy and he's only 15 years old. In fact, he's turning 16 next month, right? Yep. (laughs) You're staying pretty, pretty busy uh, because you also got to deal with your school and everything else on top of everything that you're doing. Yeah. Now, uh, one one of the things that I'm curious about, Sebastian, is um, how did you get discovered? Well, I mean, I've been performing since the age of seven. It's always been something I love, and it's always been something I've done. But probably around when I auditioned for America's Got Talent, and I got in the auditions in front of the celebrity judges for that, then it kind of snowballed from there because it like that whole audition process really gave me more of a drive to do that, to like perform on stage. And it really gave me the motivation and it gave me more of that with that crowd seeing me and those people like getting me out there. And then after that came the Katie Cork show. And then, then the record company contacted me. And then from there, it just went crazy. And that, now that was back in 2012, right? Yeah. And uh, so you did The America Has Got Talent in 2012, season seven, I believe. Yeah, season seven. And that's uh, how was it then to perform in front of Howard Stern and Sharon Osbourne and Howie Mandel? It was it was amazing. I mean, it was like just everything that happened that day was just so surreal from singing a song that a song that was three years before I sang it. I hated that song. I messed it up. I like there's such a history with that song and then getting on stage and being able to sing that song and getting such a great response and standing ovations, everything. It was just so surreal. It was so amazing. Wow. Uh, I've seen this show on television. Uh, in fact, the new season is getting ready to start here pretty soon. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you, your first exposure that they show anywhere there on TV, I'm sure that there's different things that you do before you get to that level. Uh, but then once you get to that level and you're in front of the judges, what an adrenaline rush that must be. Yeah. <laughs> so you also did the Katie Couric show? Yeah, I did that. Um, I did that around February of 2013, I believe. Uh, how was that? That that was crazy. Um, that was that was my first national television appearance, and um, just the whole process, just like getting to see how the whole process worked, like the back backstage and how like the people like the guests like Jordan Sparks and Clive Davis and and Katie Couric how like they got ready and just the the whole the whole experience along with the performance and the appearance it was just it was really cool it was just an amazing day yeah and that was Jordan Spark and Clive Davis there also guests on that show yeah Clive Davis Jordan Sparks and Usher were guests on that show that day that I performed and then Clive Davis and Jordan Sparks judged the three singers that performed there. Now I hear that Jordan Sparks said that you were one to watch. <laughs> yeah, that was the segment. It was the one to watch. They, out of thousands of videos, they picked three singers to come to the show that they chose as like singers that were ones to watch, and they had them come and perform. To have Jordan Spark and you know Clyde Davis, I mean, that's a one heck of a compliment. It was. It was. It was crazy. So, now, you also released some singles. Yeah. One of them that we're going to be listening here very, very shortly then is called When You're My Girl. Yeah. What's that song about? Um. Well, basically, that song is about a guy who's pleading to this girl who he was previously in a relationship with, but he did something stupid, and she, ultimately she ended up breaking up with him. Now he is reminiscing about when she was his girl and the great times they had and how great it would be if they got back together. And he's just basically the whole song pleading to get back with her. It's basically what it's about. Now, that's an original song, right? Yeah. And it was written and then you cut the song and then you released it as a single. Yep. And when was this? Uh, I believe it was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, it was around March or it was around March of last year. And now it's available on iTunes. Yep. Uh, Okay, so how about we have a listen and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more. 
Of course. Great. <laughs> All right. Here's Sebastian Janowski with When You Are My Girl. And we're back. I, I love that song. It's got that great beat to it. Thank you so much. How did you like recording it? It that was that was really fun getting to record that. It was a really cool environment. The whole the whole thing with the people around me and just the it's a great the music is so fun and it was it was great. It's got that great beat. You know, last time I played it too. I played it uh, here on our show last week and uh, <laughs> it got me off my chair and got me dancing. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. It, it's a it, it's, it's a great music with a fantastic beat to it. Thank you. So it's doing pretty well, I understand. Yeah, it's doing good. It's it's starting to you know when it first came out, you know that was just all about getting it around, but now it's finally starting to like it's playing on all kinds of radio stations. It's in the top forty. It's in the top forty charts of like um, radio stations all around California and iHype Radio, all those different places. It's and like the charts of all those, and it's, it's really getting a lot of recognition. It's really awesome. So, Sebastian, the other thing that I really wanted to talk to you about, because, uh, you know, I mean, I just think it's so special, and that is the benefits and the fundraisers and charity events that uh, you also support and participate. Yeah, there's, there's just there's something so amazing about being able to get up on stage and sing for p- things that are special to you. Like, I am so... I love to sing for cancer benefits. That's one of my, that's one of the ones that I'm most passionate about, and also suicide awareness and anti-bullying. Those three benefit 
those are my favorite things to do because you get to get up there and sing about something that's important to you and you get to sing for these people that have these issues and and need help and you really get to use your music and what you love to do to help them and it's just there's something so amazing about being able to do that yeah uh people that are going through cancer for example you know they're they're it's they're going through some very difficult challenging times not only yeah the the people that are going through it but also their families yeah so all the support that we can that we can give them i think is important and for artists such as yourself that are so talented and so generous in giving it means really a lot thank you and the same thing with some of the other issues suicide prevention that you mentioned and anti bullying yeah that's that's something that that's something that is really close to me you know because some kids some people can be so mean and just some people just don't think about others and i think it's something that we as as america need to tell people that that's not tolerated anymore that's something that really really seriously hurts people and it's something that can't go on nowadays it's something that cannot happen you can't hate on people and be mean to people and say hateful things just because they're not like you or there's something about them that you don't like or you're jealous there's it doesn't matter what it is you can't act like that towards someone so people like musicians and other people like that need to have these benefits so people know that they can't treat people like that and pe- and people that are treated like that know that it's okay and it's going to get better yeah there there's um i believe that there's a a youth organization of other very talented singers that go to different schools and sing and perform and speak about bullying and speak against bullying. Yeah, I've heard about that. That's that's really amazing. That's something that I've heard about. So now you do this around your community, uh, around your city. Do you travel and, and visit other places uh, as well? Um, Really, I do any any benefit that I hear of or any benefit that I'm contacted about. I just, I really, I have the urge to just go out and do it because, um, I mean, I've done different places. I've done some in Philly and stuff like that. And I've done one that I do specifically. That's an annual thing. I do it every year. It's called the walk for Des, And it's basically Des stands for detect early signs. It's also the name of a Mm -hmm. kid who committed suicide, a young, a young guy that committed suicide, but it's something his family put together and it's a suicide awareness and anti-bullying. It's like all these people come together and in support of like kindness and being nice to each other and and for suicide awareness. And it's that's something that's one that I love so much because it's it's such a great event and such a great day. That whole day is just filled with happiness and love and support. And all these events that do this cancer, suicide, anti-suicide, anti-bullying, all that stuff. All those benefits, it's just they always have that great su- supportive like feeling about them that it's, right. it's that's what I love about it. Well, it's commendable. I mean, you're so young, but yet so mature. Uh, yeah, very special, Sebastian. Thank you very much. On uh, there's other things that you're also involved in. You, uh, I understand that uh, you wrote a song that's called "Not Afraid." Yeah, which we're going to be listening to here also shortly. Uh, but that was featured on a film, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, tell us about that. Tell us about the film and the song. Well, the, the film was called was a film called Rock Story, and it was just it was a film about this. It was a film about this rock star who was also a judge, and it was it was just a really fun. It was a really awesome, fun movie, and it, it was a movie like perfect, like for for me and everything because it's a movie about music and rock and stuff. So it was a really awesome movie and. The song is called Not Afraid, and it's basically, it's a song that's about not being afraid anymore. You know, you spend, it's about this person or people who spend their lives getting pushed down and getting pull, pushed away, and and they have nothing but, like, sadness, and they're basically just like, I'm not afraid of this anymore. They're basically like, whoever's doing this to them, whatever's doing this to them, they're not afraid anymore. They push it away, and... They come out of their shells and they're themselves. They, they have this newfound strength. They and it, that's basically what the song's about. It's about finding the new you and not being afraid of what people are going to think, what people are going to say. And I just think it's such a great song. I, it's I loved to perform it. I loved writing it. Um, it's a song that I actually wrote with my 